What's up my crypto legends, the BTC price finally getting massively rejected at the $44,000 range. We did manage to hit $45,000, but with hardly any volume at all. We are still in this descending wedge. As you can see, your question might be, where is the price of BTC going to go next? Well, I'm going to show you how we could come as low as forty-one or even $40,000 or below that, guys. We're going to take a look at the four hourly, the one hourly, because as you can see, while we were going up, the volume was going down and now we have in massive volume to the downside this could push the btc price down below 41 forty thousand dollars in the next coming hours and i'll show you why in this episode this was mentioned on yesterday's video guys if you haven't checked it out make sure to check out the video from yesterday because we talked perfectly about this potential rejection around this range make sure to smash up the like button guys thank you very much for yesterday's video almost 600 likes let's try and get this video to one thousand likes guys if you still want to see these videos we're going to talk about my trade here over 48 percent in a profit we also take a look at ethereum where's ethereum going to go well make sure to stay tuned guys and if you're an experienced trader make sure to check out prime xbt you get the best bonus available 50 percent added to your deposit by using my link in the description and bitcoin sets as 50 as the promotion code i use bybit for swing trading because the fees are slightly lower you can get up to 600 dollars worth of bonus for bybit guys okay said this let's dive in straight into the video Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe daily to own Bitcoin crypto and also live stream to connect with the community. I'm not financial advisor. Don't buy something that I say. If you do so, do your research. Let's dive in, guys. Okay, we have this massive descending wedge. We have massive resistance at 44,000 that we got heavily rejected. Talked on yesterday's video, guys. Remember, we are getting into the trend. The trend is down. We are entering retracements, guys. Don't get extremely bullish. I know a lot of people were getting extremely bullish. I did. I placed a long trade. I closed it because I know that we are on a downtrend. We are on a descending wedge, which is bullish. So let's just wait to see what is going to happen in the next coming hours and days and i'm going to explain you what i'm expecting that is going to happen okay in the next day or two now we can clearly see this massive resistance around about forty-four thousand dollar range when i say range this is plus minus a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars remember there is a lot of volatility in this market now what we can clearly see that I, I was talking about here all right if you watched one of my latest videos i'm not going to go through again okay we have one two three four five waves and now we are inside an abc correction i think the c correction hasn't finished just yet because i believe so there was five waves inside of this abc correction right because we got the first wave second third now this has been the fourth wave all right just above forty four thousand dollars and now we might be seeing that in seeing the fifth wave and i'm not sure if the fifth wave is going to have enough power to break the forty four thousand dollars hitting thirty eight thousand dollars so it is a good moment here potentially to short like i mentioned yesterday forty four thousand dollars start taking profits at forty one thousand forty thousand uh, and then you know protecting your position because i don't know i'm not sure if the fifth wave is going to create a double bottom scenario right so this is something that we need to pay attention make sure to subscribe to the channel because i'll be doing a live stream afterwards we'll be taking a look at btc the, tra the traditional stocks and also some different altcoins okay for the community now um this could still also reverse from here okay we could still reverse or depending on the price action that happens afterwards i will be exiting my trade or not because if we suddenly go sideways here then this means that the bears are losing a little bit of steam i want to see the next coming hours being pretty aggressive hitting you know the forty one thousand or below forty one thousand dollars okay because if we start reversing from here then guys yeah i'll be exiting my trade obviously we want to go with the price action so this is what i got okay looking at the four hourly chart now let's take a look at the one hour chart because yesterday we did mention you know while we we're going up you know guys we have the selling pressure being higher to the downside check out the bulls the selling pressure is going down we have very very low volume every single high that we are creating on bitcoin is making lower volume what happens next that we are hitting a major resistance zone and now we are having that roll over okay when we're seeing high volume what does this mean this means that it's very very likely that the btc price will be get 
push down to that 41 40k range where we could start taking some profits now this doesn't mean that we could reverse from here or depending on uh, if we suddenly see high volume now on the reverse right here on this retracement from this push down then eventually i will be considering to exit some of my, uh, my position at break even or at a small profit okay make sure to join the telegram alerts channel or the community channel because i interact there sometimes with the community we take a look at the charts so there's only about uh, just over 500 members okay still pretty low so make sure to join the telegram group down below guys now it, um, once we do drop to the forty thousand dollar range what am i expecting am i expecting the btc price to drop even lower potentially to 36 35 no i think we should be bottoming out in between forty thousand and thirty eight thousand dollar range and this in the next coming hours would be round about this part over here as you can see the lower part of the support of this potential descending wedge right so it would make sense if this were to be a uh, abc correction at some point we are going to bottom out right and we are going to see some decent price action to the side to uh, side price action uh, getting ready for a potential pump okay so make sure to subscribe we'll be talking about this in the next coming days now my buy bit position here is you know over 59 now while we're doing this video i did enter at 41,000 um yeah, approximately forty-four thousand two hundred dollars, as you can see right over here. And yeah, I'm expecting to. Uh, I'm going to take some profits at forty-one thousand dollars. So if I'm going to close my position, I will let the people know in the Telegram group. That is for sure. Now, take a look at Ethereum yesterday, guys. If you watch yesterday's video, we were saying, guys, remember we were talking about this on the four hourly. This potential head and shoulder with this ascending neckline, right? Okay, and that the three thousand one hundred and fifty three thousand two hundred and fifty zone was going to be a selling opportunity if the volume was continuing uh, to be very very low on this retracement well check out we had a massive spike here to the downside with volume retracement to about the 62 percent fibonacci retracement back down okay now um uh, as you can see right up there we did have this retracement super low volume we did enter into that um, 3170 area so that was the major major selling um you know area as i mentioned and yesterday guys if you watch yesterday's video i mean it's everything's playing out very very nicely because we talked about these lows over here you know from this uptrend we got lower um, higher lows and we were starting to go in sideways. No higher lows created anymore. This is why we created this box over here, which was a 3,150 area. And this was the major zone where you wanted to start, you know, potentially placing a sell uh, position. Guys, check out the video. I say everything about BTC and Ethereum on yesterday's video. You know, no, no shenanigans here. Uh, check out yesterday's video. So... Um, as you can see, we are dropping and now here very, very nicely. I expect, you know, we might be reversing soon. I think we should be retesting at least the low part here from this drop, potentially around about the $2,750 area, especially if BTC does drop to the 41 k range. Guys, this is just going to be a quick, short update. Okay, make sure to subscribe. I'm going live afterwards. Make sure to join the live. We'll be taking a look at altcoins, the traditional stocks, and make sure to check out the Bitcoin Census website. The latest news here, as you can see, Bitcoin futures trading possibly losing the interest of institutional investors so check out this article the link is down below if you haven't seen my bybit and prime xbt tutorial to learn how to trade on those platforms the videos on the screen right now thank you guys i'll see you afterwards